Yeah, welcome class. Uh, good day. Um, I thought it was I thought it was that I should still lay a bit of emphasis on the uh, uh, content setter of the Autodesk Inventor. Uh, based on our test that we did, uh, we saw the use of boats and then a, a washer. Now, with the content setter, better of us to start drawing all those one and then uh, converting to 3D extruding and the like. Uh, we can easily pick those uh, two items and related items from the content center, and that is what we will be looking at now. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go to my project. So um, I'm going to be staying with uh, the SP2 I've created earlier on. So to place any item from content center, um, you go to standard IAM, uh, that means assembly. Uh, so you place your content center on the assembly. See, and I make sure I select uh, metric. So I'm going to create now. Uh, it's loading. Placing item from content center help you to save the time uh, you would have spent uh, in drawing a certain object like the boats, the washer, uh, the knots, and other things. So I'm going to come to this place. You see here we have place to my top uh, right left-hand corner. So play, you see place. If you click the drop-down button, you see place. Place from content center. Place from imported card files. Place from logic comp uh, uh, components and then electrical tag catalog. So I'm going to place it on a content center that uh, is registered uh, this thing for the inventor. So it's a placement from content center. So this takes me to uh, set screws, but I can go back a bit. Okay, let's see. Now, you see here now I'm having... Okay, let me see, go back a bit. Okay, better now. Placement from content center. So you see uh, washers, refeds, pins, knots, and bolts. So in now it depends on uh, the object or the part that you want to create. So I'm going to go to bolt. So let's create a bolt. So the uh, bolt, on the bolt, we have different type of bolts, square head, socket head, you have set screws, round head, other, uh, we have hexagonal head flange, hexagonal head, and counter sock. The commonest type of bolt is the hexagonal head. So I'm going to pick uh, the hexagonal head. I click on the hexagonal head. So you see different types of hexagonal head bolts. I'll be very sure that what you are picking is the one in metric and not in inches. You see that some of them are in inches. Uh, this is in inches. And then you see most of the other one, the metric is uh, written on them. Uh, okay, let's let's see the one that is close to uh, what I will use in the test. Okay, plain is that gonna head machine screw as in inches, so we don't need that. Is that gonna cap screw? Is that gonna this MV? Is that gonna bolt form the hexagonal screw? Form the hexagonal screw large. Let's just see an ordinary hexagonal screw that we can use. Okay, hexagonal bolt inches, hexagonal bolt metric. So we will click on this. Okay, now from this you can see uh, different uh, sizes of the bolt M5, M6, up to uh, M100. I'm sure uh, you know what this M stands for. I will be taught under fasteners. So in the test question, we have there was M12. Okay. And it now has calls for different lengths. I uh, can't remember the length now, but let me say I pick 60. Okay. Then you can apply. Okay. It's loading. Uh, here because you are picking from the content center, so it's kind of a bit heavy. Okay, yeah, we are. Uh, 
uh, once you click you and escape so that it doesn't it doesn't uh, duplicate itself so here is uh, uh how you can select a bolt uh from the content center uh of the event also you can select other items like the washer now in the case of the test we had uh, we also see uh, the washer. Okay, I'm going to create new and the start an IEM again. And I'm creating. Okay, so I come back to this. So I place again for my content center. Then I'm going to go back. I'm on that boat now. So I'm going to go back a bit. Okay, still on board. Uh, okay, a bit. Now you see washers. Uh, that's the first item we have here so i can click here washers you have the taper washers spring washers plain washers or others uh, that's a plain washer so you can select the plain washer okay see plain washer metric and that's best so we can select that that's for m12 so it's for m12 you can click on this then you have uh, different outside diameter so let's just leave at 25.4 then you can apply so just click on it once and here we go so this saves you a lot of uh, stress in trying to uh draw the circles and then extrude uh, so you can easily get this from the autodesk inventor now let me pick another one again okay i create a new uh by standard high m again and now I'm creating. Okay, I'm going to place from content center again. Okay, let's look for not. It's also a very common uh, item. Okay, so here we see not. We have a wing not, order, hexagonal slotted, hexagonal flange, hexagonal knot, and cap knot. So we'll stay with the hexagonal knot because it's just a common one. Okay, so we'll see with hexagonal knots, and then you have uh, different types. So all we just just click on hexagonal knot metric. Uh, that's simple enough. So let's do that. Again, we choose M12, style one, style two. I right? think M12 is just okay. So we apply, and the pitch. So here we go. So instead of you to start drawing all this, you can easily pick this uh, from the Autodesk Inventor Content Center. You can see that there are other items. Let me create and look for other items. Okay. There are other items. So I'm going to place for my Content Center. Let me go back. There are other items like you see the washers, the refits, uh, pins, not bolts. Uh, okay, so we didn't look at refits and pin, uh, but if those are actually an extra, you can easily come and check to the type of PS. So basically, we might want to use only plain refit. So uh, you can pick any of these items, but make sure also every item you are picking, you are picking the one that is in metric. Uh, it is very very important that you pick an item that is in metric so once you just uh, click through and check uh, you can see the ones that is in metric okay so then we can pick our rivets also we can also pick pin uh, pin are used as uh, uh, to prevent motion or some uh, parts uh, in engineering so we have different type taper groove cylindrical cutter piece and clevis uh, the commonest are the cylindrical and the cutter pins okay so these are types of uh, cylindrical pins uh that assist but make sure you are picking metric then we have the cutter pins uh which are these are actually very common and they are used uh with shafts um uh, or sorry with bolts sorry, sorry with bolts uh to prevent uh movement in certain direction Okay, uh, let's go back a bit. Now, under in this one, at under boat, you see other items. I uh, call the square head, the socket head, the set screws, round head, 
Now, I, I'm going to just look at the set screws before we go. So, you see the set screws, they are type of boats too, but they don't really have the hexagonal head like uh, we have in a regular boat. Some of them have a, an hexagonal socket head, and some of them have a slotted head, some of them have a square head, and you can see this is a square head. Okay, this is one is a spline head. Uh, the spline head is more or less like, I think, uh, like a square socket, something like that. Then you have the one that are hexagonal socket, like this. This is a hexagonal socket. But whatever you are using, make sure you use the one that is a metric. If you look at uh, as the question I gave you in SP on the safe practice, I think the third one, uh, they make use of the set screws in, uh, in that one. So these are the things I just feel we should look at on the uh, content center. There might be other items there, so you just uh, look through and see uh, what you can play around with. Thank you very much. I hope uh, uh, you guys find this easy, and I wish you the best of luck here. Yeah.